During the day, Jeff Hostler's Michigan State women's soccer team sat just a point back of league leading Penn State and they were tied with Nebraska and the reigning Big Ten champ Spartans needed a win today from Wisconsin at Penn State and a win themselves to clinch at least a share of the regular season conference title and the Iowa Hawkeyes in town for MSU's final regular season home match. They were scoreboard watching throughout but also had to take care of their own business and they wasted no time in the fourth minute. Justina Gaynor with a corner sends it in. Emerson Sargent gets a foot on it. Maggie Illig somehow puts it home. Her first goal of the year was a big one. 1-0 one Spartans at the half. 53rd minute. Michigan State got some breathing room as Gaynor again sends one in. MJ Andrews, nice find of the sensational freshman Bella Najera, who nets her seventh goal of the year. Tied for most on the team, 2-0 Michigan State. And then in the 73rd, Sargent drew a penalty kick, and Celia Gaynor puts it on ice with a freebie. That's her first goal this season. Michigan State, huge Wisconsin Badgers fans today. They won at Penn State 1-0 which means the Spartans for the second straight season of the regular season conference champs. MSU is sharing the league title with Nebraska after a 3-0 shutout win. That's pretty amazing. I mean, everyone's got to play 10 games. Uh, we all played 10 games. We all played a very you know, tough competitive schedule in the Big Ten. And, you know, to be on top of it, I think says a lot about the quality of soccer we're playing, uh, the grit toughness this group has, the resilience they had to bounce back from an earlier tough result. Just couldn't be more proud of this group. I don't even know what to feel right now. It's... It's not, it's not something you like know what it'll feel like when it happens. I'm so excited. I don't even know, like it's not processed yet, I don't think. I'm just so grateful to be part of this program and to have Jeff push us to be our best every day. The feeling doesn't get old. Um, I'm just so ecstatic for this team. Um, a lot of people, I think at the beginning of the season, didn't know how we were going to do it. We lost a lot of key pieces last year, and I think we just had so much belief in ourselves that we knew all along that we had what it took, and the feeling is just so exciting, and I just could not be more proud of everybody.